Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1299. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Oh man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Jazzista1967 at YouTube gave us this trick, and it's simply this. In the Highline Excel 2016 series, we were building data models, and I was building the calendar table by hand. And lo and behold, Jadzista1967 says, hey, there's an automatic calendar table brand new in Excel 2016. Now, I've already imported 800,000 rows of data. Now, if you want to learn about Power Query or Power Pivot or data modeling, here are some great playlists. But let's go to Power Pivot, Manage Data Model. And here's our one fact table. So we have our sales date, product, and revenue. Now, in the last video, Excel Magic Trick 1298, we actually saw that for a data set this small, we can just use the automatic group by date feature. But if you want to do more advanced DAX formulas using some of the amazing time intelligence functions or quarters that are not standard, then we need a calendar table. And here's how easy it is. Design and no way calendars, there's a date table. And there it is. When I click New, it goes through this table here and finds the min, the max. And you've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Just like in the last video, it created a bunch of automatic calculated columns. But sure enough, it created our first column with our unique list of dates, which is what a calendar table needs. And then year, month number, month, year. And month here, day of the week, and even the actual name there. Now, if your source data changes, this is beautiful. You come back to the date table button and update range. And it will look through your fact table again and update this table. Now, if you want to use these dates in a pivot table, you have to build a relationship between the two tables. So we come over to Home. And over in View, I click on Diagram View. Now, we're going to see something totally amazing here with this calendar table. They not only created these extra helper columns or calculated columns with new criteria we can drag into the row, filter, and column area of a pivot table, but they created a hierarchy. That's where you drag one field, and it drags all four of these into the pivot table. And we'll see that when we create a pivot table. Hey, we need to create a relationship between the first column in the calendar table date and the dates in our sales or transaction table. One to many relationship, that's that unique list in the first column. Over here, we have many dates. Now we can create a pivot table on a new sheet. Click OK. I'm going to go to the calendar table and check that out. There's the date hierarchy. Drag it down to rows, and instantly we see it gives us, if we expand, year, month, and day. Now, I actually don't want that. I want to come down to our more fields, and we want month number, month number down the rows, year across the columns, and we can come to our sales table and revenue. Whoops, not month number. I'm just going to uncheck that and drag month down to rows. Now we'd fix up our pivot table if we're going to do this, but that is the amazing automatic calendar table. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Jazzista1967. We'll see you next trick.